So ladies K1 at Bantamweight, Lynn Ford in the blue from B Fit, Emma Ackland Snow from the MA Gym, and I must say that Lynn Ford as Natalie B alongside Jordan Miller in the corner there, and Natalie B, a fantastic female fighter, world champion in her own right, had the pleasure of commentating on her many times. And if Lynn reflects her ability, we're in for a good show here. Yeah, excellent training camp. And Lynn, the far more aggressive of the two, really pushing forwards the whole time. Emma's hands a little bit low for my liking. Yes, and she turns away as well, Nick. As you can see, each time that left lands, she turns away, which means it's going to land even more like that heavy shots now. And Emma has got to get her way back into this bank pretty quickly because at the moment, as you said, it's a very simple tactic from Lynn, but she's coming through the channel straight and it's working. Yeah, I mean, I think Lynn's going to get the stoppage in this fight, even though it's only scheduled for three, two minutes round. The way it's going, um, Emma seems to favour the kicks, but she's making the mistake of giving up her back too often. Even though there's no grappling involved, you don't want to be turning away from your opponent. You can't see where the strikes are coming from, for starters. And it's that left hand of Ford that's causing the trouble for Emma Acklin. And really, she's just got to keep this up. It's, it's what we call in the trade bread and butter, isn't it, Nick? But it's effective and it's working. Yeah, that was a nice stiff jab there by Emma. Well, she needs an offensive. She needs a reason to stop Lynn coming forward. Yeah, and that's how you do it. Exactly, but we got a bit of blood coming now from the nose of Emma. That is a reflection of the amount of punches Lynn has landed. But Emma coming back stronger now later in this round. Lynn should stick to throwing the punches. That's what she was having success with early on. I agree with you, Nick, because Emma has had success, but they are more arm, and sh arm punches and wilder, whereas Lynn just comes through the channel and lands. So for me, Lynn Ford has taken that opening round. Emma Ackland Snow, as you rightly said, as the round went on, came more into it, but I feel she needs to tighten up her work and if she's going to stop Lynn Ford coming forward, she's got to catch her on the way in. Do you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Because we know Lynn likes to come forward so much, perfect shot for Emma just to throw the straight jab right down the middle, like she did once in that first round, and with great success. So, round two or three, and they're immediately straight at it once more. And it's following a familiar pattern to the first round, Nick. Yeah, you're right, Malcolm. Early onslaught from Lynn there, focusing really on the punches. Emma needs to change the momentum of this round. Lands a nice body kick there with the left leg. But if you look at both girls, we can tell straight away that they are novices with the novice mistakes because the hands are very low. And yeah. they go back and forward in straight lines. That's a good point, Malcolm. I think the clinch game in particular needs a little bit of development, especially from Lynn. I'd like to see her, once she has closed the distance, using her hands just to put the knee in straight away. That's right. As you said, Nick, this is K1. There is that advantage to it. But this is probably a huge learning curve for both girls. And when you look at it, you can see the mistakes that are common to everyone at that level, 9 out of 10. You always get the exceptional fighter that comes through, even in their debut. But... These look like two debutantes learning the trade, and it's a hard way to learn your trade. Exactly, but there's no other option. You've got to just get in there and do it. Lynn continuing, continuing to push forwards. She's got to be winning this round in the judges' eyes. Now, picking up on a point you said, though, Nick, Emma's shown some good kicking ability. She has, and I'll tell you what, she seems to get stronger as the round goes on. We saw that in the first round, and we're starting to see it again now in the second round. Yeah, sometimes it can be a confidence thing, can't it? When you realise, yes, you are there, you're still there, and you've got every right to be there, your confidence grows. But it's followed a simple, simple formula, this fight. Lynn's initiating and Emma is reacting. The trouble is, when you're the one reacting, you tend to take the hits first, and it's hard then to counter. That's it, and with such a short time frame for this fight, you can't really be afford to be catching up on points the whole match. And sadly, I feel that's what Emma is doing at the moment. As you said, she gets stronger as the round goes on, but by allowing Lynn to initiate the long periods of it, she's behind on points. Third and final round, Malcolm, and once again, Lynn Ford immediately taking control of the centre. But I reckon we're going to see an increased intensity in this round from both fighters. They know there's a lot on the line here. 
I think you're right. Emma certainly responded quicker this round, which we both said she needed to. And her kicking is good. But this is what she's got to stop. She's got to stop Lynn closing that gap and just pushing forward because you get into a rut of being pushed back. Whereas as she comes in, you stop her dead, then you start to push forward. Otherwise, in the judges' eyes, you're always having to chase it. Now, she needs to stop her here. But she lets her get to this stage. And that's the big weakness at the moment. When she watches this back, catching a girl on the way in, because she's obviously strong, she can do it. But her timing is all out. Yeah, but all these things are, will be improved upon, as you say, from watching the fight back. It's all a learning experience. She's got the heart, Malcolm. She's in decent condition. She's got the will to fight, you know, so the rest can be learned. Even the little things like walking back, looking southpaw stance and then looking to switch to throw your bunches. It just takes time and allows Lynn to get to where she needs to be closer and in there. All credit to Lynn, though. She's just consistently doing her thing, breaking her opponent down bit by bit. Do I you know what, Nick? I think when it's your debut or your early fights, a lot of the time, fitness and aggression and just pushing forward at that level of your career can do so much. Absolutely, and that's why so many coaches emphasise the importance of being in tip-top shape because that's the one thing you can control coming into a fight. That's right, and I said, as you can see, Emma's got good technique when she uses it, and you just wonder if she stood her ground and came back at Lynn earlier in this whole bout, how different this could be. That's right, Emma's landed a lot, high percentage of shots when she has thrown them, she just hasn't quite thrown as much as she needs to, perhaps. And there you go, right at the end, I feel this is going to go to Lynn Ford in the blue corner through that aggression and through that constantly coming forward. But I think both young women will learn a load from watching this back because I'm convinced it'll be their debuts. And this is a huge venue and a huge event to make your debuts on.